here's a quick look at Secure Bug version 1.4. Uh, 1.4 adds Twitter support to the already existing Facebook and Flickr support. So we'll dive right in here. Show you the, the Facebook first. So first you would enter the Facebook status, which would appear as normal on your wall. And underneath there you'll see that you can add a secret message. This message will be encrypted and it'll be hidden in your post in one of three ways. The three ways are described down here. You can see that right now it says it's going to be in a normal Facebook post. But if I click this, you see the three options. A normal post, you can hide the message in a link post, or you can hide it in a photo post. And below each option is a security rating. And if you click on that, it'll show you how the post will appear in the web browser and it describes the, the different security levels. So that was a normal post. You can see with a link post, you don't immediately see the encrypted text. It's only when you click more. And with a photo post, it's completely undetectable. On Facebook, you just have an, a link to the photo. And on Flickr, you just have the photo itself. The message is encoded in the photo, so it's not visible to anyone, making your message completely undetectable. So I'm not going to post here. I'll show you uh, some examples that I did in the next video. You can also choose to send messages to specific friends if you only want one person to see your message. By default, it posts to your wall, so any other SecureBook users can see the encrypted text. If you send it to one specific person, then only they will be able to see it. So that's how you post to Facebook. The new feature, Twitter, is quite similar. You would add a tweet, you know, what's happening, uh, and then the secure message would go below. Your tweets will be visible to everyone, but you do still have an option of either hiding the message in a normal tweet or in a photo tweet. And again, you can choose which one here, and there is uh, descriptions of the different security ratings. So you can see here with a normal tweet, the encrypted text is visible. But if you were to do a photo tweet, you can see that, again, a link is just posted with no clue that there is a, a hidden message there. And the same goes for Flickr. It's not visible. It's completely undetectable. Again, I'm not going to tweet right now. I'll show you how my tweets appear in a little bit. So I already have added some secure Facebook posts as well as tweets. Within SecureBook, your feed is comprised of both your Facebook news feed and your Twitter timeline. Now, SecureBook will automatically detect when there are messages that have hidden encoded messages within them. So you can see here, here's our, our Twitter example. It found the link to the photo and then it, it read the secret message that was encoded. So scroll down a little bit further. You can see the blue, the blue highlighted posts are the ones where there were sec our secret messages. So here is our Facebook image test. And you can see below that it properly decoded the message. You can see in the original message that nothing is visible. Here's a link test. And then here was the normal test. And again, you can see the encrypted text there, so it might key people off to the fact that you have put a hidden message. So that's how you can send and receive secure messages using SecureBook. Um, but what we'll look at next is how the messages appear in the browser, which really is where you can see the different levels of security and how they're used. All right, so now we're going to look at how the secure book posts appear in a normal web browser. We'll look at the Facebook posts first. I posted everything t to my wall so it would be visible to any other secure book users. So here I'm just looking at my wall. 
You can see this first post here is the photo test. Um, here's my status message that I entered, and here's the photo that I uploaded. And besides that, you can't, there's no sign that there's any encrypted text here. If you click the link, you see the photo, there's no evidence there. If you were actually to log into Flickr, you wouldn't see it either. So that's by far the most secure means of transmitting secure messages. Down here is a link post example. Uh, you can see I posted a link to this Engadget article, and here you see a description of the text. Again, looking at it like this, there's no indication that there is a secret message hidden here. However, if you were to click see more, you would see the cipher text at the bottom of the post here, which does give some indication that there is a hidden message here, which is why it scores slightly lower than the photo, photo method on the security rating. And then lastly, here's how normal posts appear. Again, the, the ciphertext is right here for the world to see. They won't be able to read the message, but they will know that you have some sort of alternate agenda going on in your post. And that's why it receives the lowest security rating. So looking at my Twitter timeline, here are the two examples. Uh, this is a normal post here, and again, the, the ciphertext is visible to the world. Um, they can't read it, but they know what's going on. And then here is a photo post, which is the ultimate in security. Uh, looking at this, you, you can't detect that there's any hidden message. It looks like I posted a, a photo to Flickr, and then I linked to it. And indeed, if I click on it, I, I see the photo, but I don't see any message. So really, encoding messages in photos is by far the most secure method. It's only available in the paid version of SecureBook, and... Twitter support in itself is only available in the paid version, uh, so I encourage everyone to, to drop 99 cents on 